hello everyone welcome to the class we have already started our lesson the invention of our shoes last day and uh, this chapter is written by ravindranath tagore before we are continuing the chapter we just have a brief summary of uh, what we have studied yesterday so as we saw it that uh, there was a king called uh, hobu and uh, he was having a difficulty and uh, he asked his uh, minister to solve the his problem actually his problem or uh, his difficulty was uh, why should the dust dirty his royal feet whenever he steps on the ground whenever he Uh, steps on the ground his feet got dirty by the dust so he asked his minister to solve this problem so the minister's name is uh, goborai he just uh, asked the minister he just as a minister he just uh, called upon the high officials and he gathered all the scientists and the learned men scholars and the mechanics of those kingdom and he take them together and they sat together and discussed and they were thinking of in order to find a solution for this royal problem so at the end they found that one of them said that if they stand away from soil then how can they crop how can they grow crops so what they have and uh, by hearing this the king replied that if they cannot able to find a solution for this then what is the use of he is uh, keeping them in the palace so now we will continue so they thought some more and then they made a purchase of 17 lakh 50000 brooms workers were summed the dusting of the kingdom commenced the dust covered the king's face and chest no one could open their eyes because of the dust no one could see the sun people coughed and uh, choked the kingdom was almost buried under the dust and here now so they brought a someone to get thought and they decided to purchase 17 lakh 50000 brooms they purchased 17 lakh 50000 brooms and uh, workers were uh, called upon and uh, they started dusting the kingdom so they started to remove the dust from the kingdom and uh, while they were removing the dust was uh, almost uh, covered all over the palace and all over the that particular place so even the king's face as well as the chest were covered with the dust and uh, no one also nobody was uh, not able to open the eyes because everywhere there was a uh, dust and uh, they were not able to see the sun because the whole place was uh, covered with the uh, dust the and the people also faced the coughed choked so they were not able to breathe properly and some of them were not able to have the sufficient breathing they the passing of air through the nose because of the irritation of this uh, dust so many other diseases also taken place 
all were faced lots of difficulty and let us and also the whole kingdom was full of dust so let us move to the next paragraph and the king said you were supposed to get rid of the dust not fill the world with it and by having so much of dust the king said to them that i have asked you to remove the dust from here but you have what you have done they have just filled the whole world with the dust so the king was not happy with them and let us move to the next paragraph that is then 21 lakh water carriers set out with a bags of water so they have set up 21 lakh of water carriers to what they have to do with the bags of water having a water and they ran fast and they ran all over pouring water wherever they saw a speck of dust and they were just carrying with the water and wherever they saw a spot of dust they just poured the water there in order to remove the dust from that particular place all the ponds and lakes were soon overflowing with the mud when they filled wherever they saw the dust they just poured the water and all the ponds and lakes were soon overflowing with the mud when they removed the water from that lakes and the ponds then all the places were covered with the mud without having a water no boat could move on the river the since in the river also there was no more uh, water it was uh, filled with a uh, uh, mud so they were not able to move through the, the boat they were not able to travel by using a boat because the river also filled with a uh, mud since there was no water the water creatures perished so since uh, there was no water since uh, they have already taken all water to remove the dust so everywhere there was a lack of uh, water and uh, the, those uh, those the creatures which were living in uh, water perished perish means uh, a uh, perish means died or were killed suddenly or unexpectedly because of uh, removing of uh, water from the river so they also got a uh, died the land creatures tried their hand at swimming they could hardly walk or run on the mud and now what happened the land creatures those who live in in a land also they tried their hand at swimming they tried to swim but they could hardly walk or run on the mud because everywhere they filled with the water in a land and now the dust is mixed with the mud so the living creatures they were not able to move through this a way in a land also no bazaar could be set up so trading stopped all all the king's subjects sneezed and coughed and sniffed and suffered and now no bazaar the market place the bazaar means uh, the market place were not able to open because everywhere the mud so the trading also stopped because if the marketplace is not opening there will not be having any there will not be having any what will not be having any trading so 
all the king's subjects sneezed and coughed and sniffed and suffered and now the king's subjects the people people who are living in that kingdom were suffered with the sneeze sneezed sneezing the irritation of uh, taking of a breath they were not able to breathe properly all these are happening because of uh, these things because of uh, uh, pouring water wherever they saw the dust so everywhere was uh, filled with uh, what filled with uh, mud so this is for today i hope you understand this particular lesson we will be continuing in the next class this is for today bye bye